Praise Yah, Jesus Christ is Lord. My brothers and sisters in Christ, thank you guys so much for tuning into the channel. Thank you guys so much for 22 subscribers. Next goal is 100 subscribers. I am doing my best to grow the channel from nothing. But, you know, it is an amazing and wondrous thing uh, that I could spread the message of the Lord Jesus Christ to, you know, to potentially the world. Because uh, all of the users that use YouTube, right? Um, some of the topics we do cover, though, could potentially get censored or banned. So, uh, you know, uh, I'll cover more of that, you know, around the end of the video. But uh, recently, some news that uh, I found, um, I saw my feed, where uh, the Bible, the Bible, the Holy Book, the Word of the Lord, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, is getting banned. This is from the Assorted Press. The Bible was banned from elementary and middle schools in a Utah school district after a parent frust frustrated by efforts to ban materials from schools convinced the district that some verses were too vulgar or violent for younger children. The adversary, adversary once again, doing everything he can to deceive to manipulate and to keep people away from the word of the lord it's clear as day we it is it is so sad right the bible has been around for ages you know one of the one of the forms of liter literature that has shaped humanity for what we know it as for generations because of this holy and uh, wondrous book, right? That was uh, created by theologians where the Spirit of the Lord moved through each of these uh, theologians. And now they're trying to ban it from elementary and middle schools. There were never issues with the Bible you know, going back in, there were never any issues with the Bible going back in, you know, any time in history as far as like the, the, the 1950s to the early 2000s. Everyone, like to me in that time frame, that time frame right there, because I'm, I'm, I'm a 90s, I was born in the 90s, right? So from the 1950s to the early 2000s, if not earlier, there were never any issues. There was never anything that was too violent that came out of the Bible. There were never any, uh, uh, anything, anything that like created uproar about it. It's just because now that we're in this time where the adversaries basically controlling so much, you know. God is fully in control of everything and he'll come back and stop what is happening and we know this but it's it's uh because of what's happening with the gender agenda the uh LGBTQ community the the leaders the corrupt leaders the politicians people in you know uh who are who call the shots for the nations because of that and all the pushback that they get because the gender ideology is a recent thought pattern it's not some something that was has been around for uh centuries right it's not something that has been around for centuries the gender ideology is just a recent thought pattern so they're doing this in my opinion as an attempt to push back because we're pushing back on you know that ideology that was just recently created and in my opinion just created to create just cr in my opinion it was created just to create more confusion and less uh children to be born to bring down population which would eventually lead to destruction of human the destruction of humanity right all the years we've existed people that kids that read the bible kids that grew up in the bible 
if you go back in history, you go back and do studies, check studies, statistics. Kids that grew up, uh, kids that grew up with uh, God, grew up with a religious faith, grew up as as, as Christians, created did less, did way less as far as like had way less, uh, you know, acts of committing violence and. They had way more morals, in my opinion, way more morals when they followed the word of the Lord. We see now because the word of the Lord is the Bible is being removed and more and more people are turning atheists and not believing in the Lord Jesus. We're seeing a we're seeing so, so much of a, of a breakdown in society, way more violence, way more, way more, way more people stealing, way more uh, sexual promiscuity, right? More, way more deviance because the uh, religious Christian faith God is being removed out of society you could see there's statistics to show we could I could google and research the statistics right now you know violence compared to the 1960s and 70s compared to 2023 uh, 2023 right way way higher numbers persons committing self deletion in the 60s 70s 80s 90s compared to 2023 way higher statistics utah bans district bans bible in elementary and middle schools due to vulgarity and violence absolutely insane the 72,000 uh, students davis school district north of salt lake city removed the bible from its elementary and middle schools while keeping it in high schools after a committee reviewed the scripture in response to a parental complaint the district has removed other titles including sherman's alexis the absolutely true diary of a part-time indian and john green's looking for alaska following a 2022 state law requiring districts to include parents in decisions over what constitutes sensitive material but <laughs> It's insane man this is so crazy to me this is what is happening like it just, it's it is just signs that you know the end times are here Jesus is coming back very soon this is just it's just signs of it all the years that the Bible has been in schools or people grew up in the church you know people that grew up in the church had have way more morals when people when when kids were growing up in the church back then they had way more morals way more they they did way less to hurt society you know it's not the bible's fault that society is cracking down i would argue if if I would argue if society started to go back to God and go back in the church, things wouldn't be as wild and crazy as it is, as it is now. They'd be way less violence. They'd be way, way less uh, deviant, sexual immorality, you name it, right? On Friday, a complaint was submitted about the signature scripture of the predominant faith in the Utah the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, widely known as the Mormon Church District spoke spokesperson Chris Williams confirmed that someone filed a review request for the Book of Mormon, but would not say what reasons were listed. Relatives for the church declined to comment on the challenge. Members of the faith also read the Bible. And you could see we're, we're just going through it real quick. Just skip, just browsing through. If folks are outraged about the Bible being banned, they should be outraged about all the books that are being censored in our public schools, says Casey Meehan. <sighs> Casey. Casey, one of the people, man, that is we're responsible for the crackdown in, society, uh, in the breakdown in society of me. We know it as we know it. Who directs the Freedom to Read program, the writer's organization, PEN America? And there you have it. I don't want people to... Let's see this quote. I don't want people to be able to say, I don't want the Bible in the library. Arkansas Democrat Senator Linda, Linda Chesterfield said during a hearing. Shout out to Linda. <laughs> Shout out to Linda. I don't want people to be able to say, I don't want to read, want the Bible in the library shout out to Linda for standing up for that man 
crazy stuff guys crazy stuff there's also a quick video Ryan uh, Crescent Krasenstein you know uh, King James Bible has been removed from all elementary and middle school libraries throughout the Davis School District in Utah after someone challenged its contents <sighs> again it makes no sense guys think about it when society when people as we know it were more a part of the you know were grew, growing up in churches and a part of the Christian faith did we see you know women being so sexual no they they were always dressed properly you know neatly covered did we see men committing so many crimes no there was way less crimes and you know violence violent acts being committed but as soon as society started to turn away from the church and the Lord Jesus that's when we saw the breakdown it's not the Bible's fault even if there are violence violent and uh even if there's violent stories in the bible the bible has helped society maintain such a strong moral compass all of these years right the school district decided to ban the bible after they found that it had elements of vulgarity and violence not su not suitable to younger students makes no sense a broad new law in Utah prohibits school from having pornographic or indecent material. Now, that makes sense. That's smart. You know? So, I want to hear your opinions. I remember the book Gender Queer that has pornographic and indecent material. Ban that book, not the Bible. Should the Bible be banned? If not, then why shouldn't it? Here are my thoughts. Books in school libraries should be segmented by age appropriateness. If they are not already, laws should be written to narrowly focus on really bad content, not in the broad way they, are, they currently are. Broad laws leave teachers and librarians in a position that makes them fear the laws and overreact rather than uphold the laws in a genuine manner. Should a 7-year-old be reading gender, gender queer? Of course not. But should a 7-year-old also be reading the vulgar section of the Bible? No. It's, I disagree. The entire Bible, the entire Bible is written for you know every age there are happy mediums to this problem and it doesn't involve painting all people who think certain books should be accessible to older students as groomers just like those who think bibles should be accessible to kids shouldn't be called groomers either i grew up in the church from since i was a little kid before i could even remember like two three years old uh, you know not even one year old yet growing up in the church you know and how many families have done the same thing and the bible has been accessible to all of you know god's children from those ages i just think this is just a tactic once again another tactic by the adversary to remove god and jesus the lord from you know the uh from people's lives it happens in this school it happens around all the other schools as well my personal opinion. This decision comes after the district review committee determined that this Bible does not contain sensitive material defined by Utah law, but they say it does have, quote, elements of vulgarity or violence not suitable for younger students. Bob Judson has a fifth grader in Davis County, so his initial reaction to hearing this news. Do I agree with the bad Bible? No. Meanwhile, Jonah Judson is a high schooler in Bountiful. While he doesn't agree with banning books, he says... If they're banning all these other books, then it's really just uh, fair to just ban the Bible, too. Davis... Completely disagree. Again, it's been the foundation of society. Even the U.S., right, has been founded with god in the constitution with a christian country it it's now like i said as soon as society stepped away from that we are seeing you know so many cracks so many like every day you wake up it's like the world is about to end Davis District says around seven to eight elementary and junior high schools have the Bible in their libraries. They will be removed. This comes following a Utah law that prohibits schools from having pornographic or indecent material. Do you think there's inappropriate material in the Bible? Oh, definitely. There's a whole chapter about it. This decision comes after...
All scripture from Paul, Ethan, all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Timothy chapter 3, verse 16 to 17. This is your belief, but not everyone's. Right here, excellent. What goes around comes around. Again, people that are, in my opinion, lost. You know, when you see the, their bio, look at the flags that they have up. Look at what they believe in, pro-choice. You know, uh, no disrespect to Gina. I pray for her. I pray, sh I pray nothing but blessings and love for her. But again, uh, people that accept this, like it has been rooted in our in our society for forever, right? It has it has been rooted in our society forever, like remove re it when they remove it out of this one school and it starts to get removed from many other schools maybe even all schools in the u.s we're gonna look back and be like that would have that was a bad decision because the the moral compass for society as we know it is just going down and falling off a cliff and is no, it's not there's no chance of saving it the only one that will be doing the saving is the lord jesus christ man I find it hysterical that the Bible has been banned and by the rule set by the GOP it should be. It's it is I it is so ironic, but of course I don't support any book banning. What are y'all thoughts? What are, what are y'all thoughts, my friends, my brothers and sisters in Christ? Leave a comment. Leave a comment down below. Let's have a discussion as always. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. You guys, I'm telling you, you could see it. the adversary, the adversary is doing everything he can to to keep a blind eye, to 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 keep everyone blind from what is happening in the world, and realizing that Jesus Christ is Lord. It's only a matter of time until everyone. Major the majority of people falls into depravity. And this is why we need to be do our best to stay righteous. Read the word. Now that it's getting banned in, banned in, in schools, you read the word with your children. Right? You go to church with your children so they could learn and they could come to accept the Lord Jesus. Because I'm telling you guys, it's just going to get worse. Every, every day I cover a some something some topic it's just going to get worse and then it's going to, it's just going to get completely terrible until us as christians are crying out and weeping and then god will return whenever that day comes again thank you guys so much for watching if you can support the channel through my patreon uh have one tier for five dollars a month guys support my uh my mission through the patreon i have a tier for five dollars a month i'll give uh it will give you access to shout outs and visit videos early access to videos i also have a rumble page and those two links will be in the description the rumble page will be uploading my youtube videos uh automatically just in case youtube tries to ban uh my videos i'll have the rumble page as a backup thank you guys so much for watching uh praise yah praise the lord jesus christ Blessings to every single one of you, and I'll see you guys in the next video.